into my <clears throat> design team project for scrapbooking with me. And <clears throat> I'm going to do a little, um, I don't know if I'd call it a tutorial, but it's going to be kind of a create a tag with me um, style video. And this is what I created. And it is <clears throat> this simple tag. Um, this is a, I don't know if this is actual chipboard or if this is wood, but you can see how, how thick it is. And it's nice and sturdy. Um, so I wanted to create this for myself and um, hang on my wall because I am obsessed with these little teddy bears. Absolutely obsessed. So um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. And <clears throat> I just came with this beautiful collection called Simple Stories. And I will share the paper collection. I think, hold on, I think I have it right here. I already cut into, here it is. Simple Stories Bliss. And you can get this at Scrapbooking With Me along with, this one actually comes with a sticker pack. You can see it there in the corner. But you can get the ephemera pack as well. And it has all of this on it. Little, little die cut pieces. So <clears throat> that's what I used here. And the butterflies, the background butterflies, I fussy cut out of the 12 by 12 paper. You're going to see, you're going to see in the, if you stay and watch the, um, kind of the tutorial part, I guess. So, um, at the end of the tutorial, I was creating the flower clusters and somehow I lost the part where I, um, stuck in the, the sprays. And um, after I got done, I decided to add the layered bow at the top. So I know it's it's kind of a big tag. It's hard to see. Let's start at the bottom. So I picked up this lace the other day at um, Hobby Lobby. And this is something that you have to buy by the roll, you know, or by the yard. And then this is some trim from my stash. I wasn't real sure about adding the this but I kind of like it flatback pearls I hardly ever use those um you can't really see that much of the paper collection on here but you will see it um in the the process video but you can see right here gosh it's just it's just a really pastel butterfly themed pretty pretty collection so um I hope that you like it. I like it because you saw where it's hanging in my room too. And um, I hope that you enjoy the little create a tag with me portion of the video. It's coming after. I just um, used the sheer ribbon for a hanger and um, I just layered up. I just went to my stash and was like, okay, what kind of ribbon do I have? And this is what I had, so it worked out well with the lavender, um, the, I don't know what you call it, it's kind of like a, it's not teal, because it's too light to be teal, but um, I just love it. I hope you guys love it too. Head over to Scrapbooking with me and get you this collection. Um, I think it's also a beautiful collection for cards, as well as journal making, mini albums. It's awesome, and I'm going to create several different projects with this collection so stay tuned if you like this pastel um color palette and we'll see you soon thanks for watching hope you stay tuned for the rest i am going to do a hmm, i don't know a, a, i don't know if i want to call it a tutorial because i'm just going to alter this tag on camera this is a tag that i got at um in my very first design team package for scrapbooking with me and this is what i got um i had specifically picked uh the bliss collection from simple stories um for my design team paper for this month of march so this is going to be my first project using this paper collection 
and we're going to alter this tag together. And I have, let me show you, just kind of, I did cut out two of the papers, um, but then I just have this pile of stuff that we're going to, we're going to work with. So I'm pretty sure you've already seen the finished product. So let's get going on this. And I cut this a little bit bigger than the actual tag because I'm going to distress it with my Tim Holtz distressing tool if I don't completely destroy it. <laughs> I really want this to look shabby chic. This is something I am creating for myself. And I will tell you a little bit later what I'm going to do with the rest of... Um, I ordered two packs of the Simple Story, so I have enough to make something substantial. So this is going to be the bottom layer of the tag. So, and it is bigger than the tag because when I hang it, I don't necessarily want the brown to show. And I could paint it, but it's just going to hang in my in my room. I'm not I'm not all that worried about it. So let's go ahead and glue that on. I'm really actually excited to create something for myself. And when I show you where I'm going to hang it, you'll see why <laughs> this is actually uh, really perfect for the space that I'm putting it in. And I really... Uh, really like this collection. It's got these beautiful pastel colors. It lends itself very, very shabby chic. It's got a lot of butterflies and flowers. Some really great um, ephemera cards and a sticker collection that comes with the, the paper pack. So it doesn't matter if you kind of rip and tear stuff, it gives it more of a shabby chic appearance. And that's going to go right on like that. Okay, so let's see, are we going to pop that up? Let's pop that up some. Okay, we'll use... A little bit of actually let's get some pink foam fun foam I keep my scraps of fun foam handy so I like to use hot glue Fun foam is very cheap, guys. It's like 99 cents for a huge sheet of it. So, uh oh, that's an extra piece. Okay, and we'll put this like that. Let's use a different kind of glue. Um, I'm going to use my fabric tack because I like that it gives me a little bit of 
wiggle room to get it placed where I, where I need it. And I want to obviously match up that hole. Okay. So you can see our our paper hangs out just just a little bit. All right. Let me take a swig of my water. All right, let me show you our focal point. Ta-da! How stinking adorable cute is that? I am really into these little shabby chic teddy bears. This is a Prima frame. And I wanted that. The teddy bear was, the photo was at an angle, so I just had to cut it all crooked. But you can see how pretty it looks. So, I am going to put it at an angle like that. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to lay down this um, cheesecloth. So I'm going to put the cheesecloth like that. So I'm going to put I'm going to use the, the art glitter glue. It's not wanting to come out. One second, guys. Technical difficulties. Okay, well, I got it. I got it stuck, and I need to work with that. So let me just real quick use the fabric tack. Um, I'm new to the art glitter glue, so I have to learn how to keep my um, keep it from clogging up. Put a little bit of glue down here, even though I'm probably going to cover most of it up down here. Okay, so there we go. And I want the corner of this right where that butterfly is. So let's pop this up and get out a little bit more fun foam. You know, it's funny, um, when I first started doing these tutorial, um, whatever you want to call them, this isn't really a tutorial, but, um, I didn't like it. And it depends on the project. This is a quick, kind of a, what I call a quick project. So I think it's, I actually have fun with it. So I know exactly where I want this. So I'm going to go ahead and use the hot glue. just like that oh my gosh this is gonna be so cute oh my god I totally forgot to put this okay when we use our wiggle room glue the fabric tag this is what we can do <laughs> I love it because I had wanted to put I wanted to put this cupcake wrapper 
in there. You know what? That just reminded me. I think I ordered some cupcake wrappers and I haven't gotten them yet. Oh, they may have been ordered from China. Okay, so we're going to do it like that. And then... So that's sometimes why I really like the glue that gives you that wiggle room. Um, time to change your mind a little bit. All right. Now... This is going to go right at the bottom of the tag. Just like that. I love it. Um... I have this eyelash trim and I don't know which is the front and which is the back. I'm going to guess it's like that. So we're going to put another layer of hot glue and I'm going to hope that's right, <laughs> that that's the front. Okay. Look how cute that is, guys. I don't know can you see it I love it all right now I have this wood piece that came with the tag and I don't know if I want to use the doily because I'd have to, I could cut out the center and the door and do it like that but I actually think I kind of like it without. I do. I think I like it without. But I'm going to put a little bit of backing here. Just sturdy it up a little bit right where that tag hole is. And this is going to go like that. And I'm hot gluing that bad boy on there, so I better not change my mind, because that's it. It's there. <laughs> All right. So this is kind of heavy. And I like that it's kind of heavy, because like I said, it's going to hang on the wall. All right. When I was thinking, when I was trying to think this through, I had kind of decided I was going to do this. And I meant to put it down before I actually put the frame down. So, let me put... And see, now all this cheesecloth is just unnecessary. So I'm going to like cut some of that off because I can use that piece in my flower cluster. All right, I'm going to put that on there and just kind of tuck it underneath that frame because that frame is hot glued and if I pull it up it will it will rip the paper and we don't want to rip the paper okay so that's how that's gonna go and then this gonna hot glue that little piece down going to 
do this. And we're just going to pleat this because this is going to go underneath. Well, our flower cluster is going to go on top. And so that lace is going to stick out and look cute and pretty. Like I said, guys, I... For those of you that watch me frequently, you know I rarely make something for myself. So I'm actually really kind of tickled that this is for me. And the next project I make with this paper collection may very well be for me as well. We'll see. Okay. So that's how that's going to go. You just hold it down, give it a chance to set. Okay. I'm wondering if maybe we use the, the doily. Sometimes I actually kind of like being able to talk to you guys while I'm doing this. And <laughs> I heard the husband coming and then he was like, oh no, she's talking. I better not interrupt. I think we'll, we'll do without the doily. I'm going to see yeah I think that's going to work so I'm going to put some hot glue right there just to kind of set that cheesecloth down and I'll be right back so we'll start with Oh, I wanted to use this sentiment. Share your beauty with the world. And I'm thinking, I don't want it to cover up the bear. And I don't want it centered. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. All right, let's do the flower cluster. So I have these lavender flowers. Like that. So I like to kind of play with my flower cluster a little bit and figure out my placement. And that actually, I think, looks really nice. So let me... So I'm going to leave those right there. And I'm going to put hot glue. And then this was 
there. So I'm going to hold that on like that. Put some more glue down. And fold that. Okay, how did we have these? <laughs> how do we do this? Like it was, was it like that? Or was it like this? We'll do it like that. I know that's not exactly how we had it, but it looks nice. All right, now I did layer up some butterflies with paper from the collection and I left some cheesecloth. Um, I don't like the cheesecloth at the top, so I'm gonna cut that off. So I, I like how the cheesecloth kind of makes it look more wispy, like it's flying. Mm. This one, the cheesecloth doesn't look as pretty. Hmm. I have this one. I just don't like the cheesecloth on it. It just doesn't. For some reason doesn't look right so sorry about the noise that is my honey and he is creating a craft space for himself in the closet in his office he's gonna start building boats ships Okay, so I want it to kind of have that butterfly underneath as, I don't know, I like the way it looks like underneath. And in this one, I did punch a Martha Stewart. Um, I used this punch. And then there's another teeny one, and I used this punch. So let's put a little glue on that. And let's put that butterfly right there. And I have another butterfly. And I just fussy cut these butterflies out of the 12 by 12 sheet of this. So that's what I did. Wow, that's noisy, isn't it? <laughs> Welcome to my video. Um, okay, I'm going to have to put, gosh, I don't know. If I, if I glue that like that, it'll probably just stay. Hmm. 
Okay, yeah, that looks nice. That works. Um, let's see. I'm going to layer up this butterfly some more, but I'm trying to figure out where. I guess I'll put it down here. So I'm going to put this butterfly here. And I really don't want to use this. I like that one better. So I'm going to get... Okay, so guys, this is the sheet that has all the designs on it. What's really cool is you can cut this stuff out and check this out. You can use this. And look how pretty that looks. So there's no wasting. And it's a little flimsier than the regular paper, but who cares? It's not a big deal. So that's how it looks. I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut this cheesecloth off. I mean it's no Renee Bouquet's butterfly, but it is still pretty and we'll put it down here kind of like it's landing on our cluster of flowers and then usually what I like to do with the center of my butterflies is use a little bit of pearls as the centers so let me get my stash once again I apologize for the noisy <laughs> craziness going on. Just put a drop of and I don't glue it all the way down because I want that part to kind of look like it has movement. be so excited to put this on my wall because I'm digging it totally digging it okay so there we are now this part up here looks a little bit sort of naked so I have these and we'll see what we can do with these These are not the best quality, so this could be could be good or it could be bad. <laughs> hmm.
let's see. All right, this is, here, let's do this one. I've always had difficulty with these, probably why I don't use them very often. I like it. Let's put some. Up till now, I have totally loved this. I'm not sure I'm loving the pearls. I'm sure you're telling me if you're loving the pearls or not. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm not loving the pearls. And yeah, it's gonna be hard to get them off the cheesecloth. But this is the just this is the reality of the process. You don't like the pearls, you take the pearls off. And you hope you can save them for something else. And maybe I like these two. But I'm thinking maybe what I need is a couple, a little more flower cluster up here. Let me go get some flowers. I'll be right back. Got some flowers and I got some little, this is just stuff I get at my local craft store. So I tucked it already in to my flower cluster. So now I'm just going to glue those glue those in and I got a few flowers for up here only am I out of cheesecloth? Okay, I need a bigger piece of cheesecloth. Here's a cheesecloth. And let's figure out how we're going to layer this. Oh, that looks, that looks nice. Okay. So let's glue this one. That one. And there we go with 
of lavender. All right. I didn't have much white, so I don't exactly know. I kind of like it when it hangs over the tag. Oh yeah, let's do that. One of the first things I noticed when I started crafting was that there were some ladies, and I mean, I'm talking crafting like 10 years ago. Um, I was doing kind of like children's layouts on um, and selling on eBay, and I, um, I noticed the flower clusters, and I was like, because okay, I kept trying to figure out why don't mine look like look like theirs and I finally figured it out and I started doing flower clusters that many years ago and I really I really find I enjoy it um, don't tell me I should do